you're happy without it, it's hard for the devil to have a foothold in your life. When you're happy without it. Look at the sun. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, like when you're happy from the inside, not out of external circumstances being the way you want them to be. When God gets you to the point where you can be content in whatever situation that you find yourself in, it is hard to be moved. It is hard to be angered. It's hard to be offended very easily. Right? And so I pray that you root and you ground yourself in the love of Christ because that's what gives you that sense of that, that not just a sense of it, but the very essence of wholeness, right? Whole right life. <laughs> That's what gives you that whole feeling and to be rooted and grounded in Christ and his love for you because nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can change the way he thinks and feels about you. That's the core of your existence is his love for you that will never change never be altered things may change people may change but the love of God can never be taken away what shall separate us from the love of God what shall be able to separate us from the love of God nothing not height not death not things to come not things past not angels not demons nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. And so when you're happy without it, it is hard. You make it hard, not saying impossible, but you make it hard for the enemy, the devil, the enemy of your soul to trip you up, to get you down, to depress you. And not only that, as I was talking before in a previous message, it's attractive to be happy without it. Do you remember the Grinch who stole, um, who stole Christmas, right? He took away all their toys and their, you know, their gadgets and their food and their celebratory items and, you know, everything that, you know, spruced up the holiday and that they were celebrating with, right? He took all of that extra superficial stuff away and then the next morning, he still heard them singing and happy and rejoicing. Where did this come from? And it made it attractive. My God, my God. It made it attractive. And that's what he wanted. He realized he was missing what they had. And it was not coming from the things that they had. But they were happy from the inside. They had real joy and he needed that in his life and so happy without it that's where God wants us at God bless y'all love you